qualified immunity. The document was written up. Uh, they, they, the government created this uh, document and in 1967. It became a law like in 1982. What it is is that the police, if they're performing their duties, allegedly performing their duties, they cannot be charged right. with this crime. So if the police do kill or, 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 or shit, that's obvious, they kill and murder people, they, they cannot be charged. Now, the law was created so they couldn't get sued and mm. all this other kind of shit. And, and, um, but they've taken it too far. They, they expanded on this law. Mm -hmm. So now if, if uh, uh, I can't say the dude named Chauvin, you know what I'm saying, when he killed, it, the reason why they keep saying it's so hard for the police get, to be convicted of these crimes or these murders, you know what I'm saying, or even for drug dealing, because, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm going to tell my bad story first. Uh, I, I was caught with an X amount of whatever product. No. Let's say. I'm going to go cocaine. Let's say, you know, let's say I had a strong 31 <laughs> ounces. There it is. You know. That's, very, got, that's very precise. But when I got to court 10 days later, it was only one ounce. Uh. Where the fuck? And I couldn't say shit. Where the fuck did the other 31 go? The other 30, 30 ounces go. go. I couldn't say that in public because you know, uh. I'm telling them myself. But they're taking your cocaine, blah, 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 and they're selling it. So these officers who are committing these crimes while they're in their police uniforms, qualified immunity. So when I'm watching CNN and all these other things, they talk about we got to reform the laws and the training. No. Get rid of that motherfucking law. Get yeah. rid of that law. Get Which, rid of that but, law. But, but the, and the other thing that a lot of people don't understand, they and have... Look that up, Nick. Look up qualified immunity. You, you figure it out. You got to understand, too, they also have... They're, they're in a union. And that union... Oh, he's a piece because of they shit. Because the, they get the money from those police officers, they're going to protect those, those police officers. They're going to go to Capitol Hill. And they're going to make sure they get some uh, senators that's going to see their view because they're going to put the money in their pocket. And they're not going to let certain laws go through and certain ones they will go through. I can't through. remember the, um, the New York uh, uh, Police Union, whatever his fucking name is. I want to say it's PRX, whatever it is. He, he was talking and he, he admitted to being involved in three shootings. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck is that your union president? Because he, he gets shit done, Johnny. As far as killing. That's what he's getting done. Oh, I hope that. Because um, uh, the uh, the police officers in Minnesota, when, when the mayor showed was it Minnesota when the mayor showed up and they turned their back on him? I mm -hmm. think so. Oh, yeah, that or California. Which one so apparently the, the, the thing you were talking about, Johnny, got you, is going to be up for review by the uh, Supreme Court this year. It should be, uh, it shouldn't be it's reviewed. It's going to be heard. It should be, it should be abolished right now. But you got, but the court is, uh, I think it's 6-4 or 5-4 Republicans. I don't give a fuck. You see all that goopy stuff, you, man. That governor, I mean, the governor of every state can 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 drop that, and I and I know it's a Supreme Court de decision, so the Supreme Court can stop that right now. It they could. I don't have to go to court. I don't have to draw up a a, a document and, uh, and and submit it. No, I can I can stop it right now. We got a phone call. Hold that thought. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling At this from? This station with Paz Ventura. Speedy, we have action. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, good brothers? This is D Cause, man. How you guys? D doing? Cause, what it do, brother? Dear yeah, brother, no, I'm chilling, man. Hey, uh, uh, Johnny Mac, I beg to differ, man. My sister got diagnosed with COVID last night, man. No, no, no. Had to rush her to the hospital because she had some upper respiratory. She hold, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I think it's a hoax. I think that the the, the fear tactics because they're saying that if you get COVID 19, you're going to die. You're going to die. That's why people mm -hmm. are afraid to come outside. I know people. Mm -hmm. And she came with me to um, Dave Brown's birthday party, Speedy. She had it. And she was fine and dandy uh, a week or two later. Now, she did lose 11 pounds. But she needed to lose that 11 pounds. <laughs> well, the good, good news is I had, to, I had to report it to my job this morning okay. when I found out. My brother had called me. So I'm off until the 16th with pay. So I'm good with that. How's your sister doing? But um, uh, She's doing a lot better. My brother just went and picked her up uh, from the hospital a couple hours ago. Don't let her get on that respirator. Hold on. That's been part of the problem. I'm about to dig into it. Oh, I'm to go ahead, Johnny. So right. she's doing a lot better. <laughs> mm -hmm. In other words, she's not going to die. No, no, she's not going to die. Got it. No, she's not gonna and, die. And, but here's the thing that was thrown. My call, brother called me crying last night. How old is he? Them thug, thug rug nigga. No, he's a thug rug nigga, man. Apparently man, not. His wife. <laughs> yeah, this, no, no, this is his wife, man. So, oh, it's his wife. Know, he was oh, real okay. scared. Oh, it's your brother-in-law. Yeah, it's my yeah, it's my brother and it's my sister-in-law. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, he called me this morning. He was like, man, I got it. You know, I got. I was like, nigga, you ain't even been tested. You a drug addict, man. You you can have anything. <laughs> Shit. So <I> got it. <laughs> but, um, this nigga LSD. Uh, <laughs> but man, they they wilding back here. Did y'all see where the brother in? I think it was Chicago. Man, he stole a cop horse and was riding down the street. I heard about that. I saw that. I sent you the video. That shit was hysterical. Yeah. But 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 let's go back to your to your to your sister in law, and and mm -hmm. I want you to say that 
she did. Uh, uh, con- she she does have a uh, coronavirus. Does she know but where she yeah. got it from? But she's going to recover. Um, she 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 works. I think she works in, in nursing. I believe oh, she works okay. in there nursing. Is, or oh, there like it is right there. Yeah. Well, she got the mm-hmm. she didn't get the, the the whole dose. But but but, but the reason I say it's a hoax because have you noticed in the last eight to ten days? That's because they haven't been talking about CNN it, hasn't said because they haven't been talking. They've been talking about the rioting and, and the numbers ain't went up. Yes, they have. No, it's not. Uh-uh. The numbers are yeah. The numbers numbers have definitely gone up. Definitely gone numbers up. Numbers gone here. up. No, no, no. Listen, uh, oh, gone up. New York just reported this is the first time that no one's died from COVID a, a day. That no one's, exactly. no one's passed away in New York. They That's just in reported New York. this this morning. That that was the epicenter in the United States. Yeah. But but Speedy went here last week. The reason I say it's a hoax because Still my shit. when my father passed away, uh, uh, they said my father. Or could have or passed away from um, COVID nineteen. I'm like, no, he didn't. I said, yes, he did. I'm like, no, he didn't. We we did our test. I said, let me help you out. My father had two cancer surgeries. Been fighting since fucking 1992. Mm-hmm. He had Alzheimer's. He had Parkinson's. And the motherfucker last time I seen my daddy, he was eating pork skins and hot sauce and drinking Hennessy. Are you sure? <laughs> At the age hey, of ninety. Right, At the age right, of. Are you right, sure? <laughs> And that, and that white woman got off that fucking phone and told me, uh, oh, you know what, you made a valid point. Uh, we'll call you back. And I ain't heard from that bitch since April 6th. Uh, before I get off right quick, man, for the chat room, can you, can, Nick, can you look this up, man? Sure. Johnny Mac versus Flame. Man, when I tell you he tore that motherfucker up, man, in I that sure cracking contest, well, man. Oh well, I remember that, God. John. I remember that, Johnny, because you at first you was like, you don't want this. I told him. You don't want this. But, I told him. But the, but the messed up thing about it, because it's like 10 minutes and some change, they never announced the winner, which I already knew it was Johnny Mack, because Johnny got in that, I mean... Yeah, he got his I mean, ass. I, say I, it. I, Just I, say I, it. He got the he got the gay dude ass. Say it. Say it, D Man, that's the most funniest shit I ever seen in my life. Man, I had parties and showed people that, man. Everybody was on the floor. Hey, that shit. I, I had to pause it. Yeah, you know, but I mean, if, if Nick, if you can find that man, that's the most hilarious thing. It's messed up because if you read the comments, people are like, man, what happened to the end of it? I want to hear the whole thing. I just, well, you know now since he's been uh, on the Westcom show, he 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 a diva. He a real diva now. He act like oh, he can't yeah. return calls, and he too big to come First on show. First of shows. all, why are you calling him? Well, I was calling him for you. I <laughs> thought you, I thought you wanted to apologize <laughs> <laughs> for digging in his ass. <laughs> all right, thank God you, bless you, man. God bless you. Take sister. care, sister in law. Sister in law. God bless you, sister in law. We praying for. Her. I'm telling you. So I told you it ain't no hoax. It's just you ain't got it. Speedy. And you at the age. You like me. <laughs> you we at, we at that age. Why we not at work? I, we should have been. And, at work. and the state of California. Come on, Netflix, make it happen. The state of California, they say like three thousand people die, maybe thirty one hundred by now, right? So we good. And the, the, you're gonna hate this part. It's forty four million people in California. It's a few Mexicans. <laughs> they might, they might, they might across the border late at night. I don't know. So let's go say, let's just say it's fifty five million. Fifty five. Round it up. And, and only three thousand have died. Mm-hmm. And how many people? That's live, a how many zero. People, how many people? Forty four, fifty million. So, so. Me getting it is what percent? Zero point zero 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 three. I have better luck playing the lottery. The lottery. I can come up there. You got better luck to, uh, uh, of inventing your own airplane. <laughs> <laughs> One that flies backwards. <laughs> hey, man. The country, <laughs> it's the fear tactics. We're just afraid that they're pumping fear in everybody. Well, I, I think the thing that threw me off is when they said you could have it and even don't know you got it. I'm then like, how do you know on, I got man. it? Come uh, on now. Does anyone know what the media did right before the Holocaust? No, what? Okay, so just to give y'all a little. And like, this why is, do you know this? Because I, 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 I study history. I, I got a bad joke. I, I want to hear it too. But I study history. But right before they um, Hitler invaded, he did the Holocaust and started killing Jews in public. Jewish people, let me say that. Um, they put out a bunch of movies. Roughly saying the same thing, yeah. showing the same thing, right? Soften the people up. Exactly. So we, if you look at the history of uh, America, we've kind of been watching these movies about pandemics, outbreaks, yeah, pandemics, yeah, lockdowns. It happened before. We've been watching films about it to kind of soften you up, so that if it took place, you're you, not you, just going. You don't panic and go berserk, right? You ever, you ever heard of Orson Welles? Mm-mm. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. You remember he did the same thing on back then his radio. War, war oh, of the yeah. wars, war of the wars, war, war of the worlds. He put out this. Uh, it was a show, but everybody thought it was real. It was oh, on radio. Oh man, people was actually out there committing suicide because they thought it was the end of the world. Is this in the fifties? 
uh, like, when like, radio was popping. Okay, yeah. um, when the only thing there was no TV. Well, if it was, it was only certain people had it. TV. I, actually, I do know. I do know what you're talking about. Um, when I was into the whole alien thing, I actually read about this. Yeah, that's why, and that's where the phenomenon actually came from. Yep. From, yeah. So anybody out there into aliens and little green men, and, that's and, where it, and they be doing it that right now with the fucking social media and it's all over everything right. and and uh, CNN this uh, terrible fucking uh, news broadcast and show this motherfuckers are terrible and it's always something tragic. Mm-hmm. They there's like 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 they say when Tom Hanks had it, you saw Tom Hanks or they talked about it every five minutes. Yeah. Then all of a sudden he don't have it. He's out on uh, was he in Italy or Australia mm-hmm. somewhere? They got Australia. He had too much jelly on his toast. Mm-hmm. And next thing you well, know, he had to stay there. He couldn't come home. When the last you talked to, uh, when the last you seen uh, the mentioned Tom Hanks, Idris Elba, uh, 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 Rudy Gobert, anybody? Yeah, well, Rudy speaking Gobert. of Rudy Gobert, you know the so, NBA, so, NBA's coming back. So when they recover man. speed, you never hear about. So and, and it's possible that that I may die of this situation. But what about the people that recovered? Why are you just giving me all? And and, and here's another thing: name these goddamn people. They did, John. No, no, no. You nah, you name Rudy did. Gobert. You oh, you talking about the ones that got it? Everybody got it because uh, uh. Yeah, they always well, say how many died, but they never say their names. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, well, uh, they recently did. So uh, uh, on Labor Day, Memorial Day weekend, they said uh, uh, California had uh, eleven hundred people. Was eleven hundred, maybe eleven thousand people tested positive for this. Name them eleven thousand. That's a lot of people, man. Uh, your governor said that Corona was spread by this uh uh pigeon na- uh, <laughs> at this at this nail salon. Hilarious. Right? I believe that. I guess hilarious. I believe they, that. they were the first one to catch it. Yeah. Name the nail, nail salon. Uh, Sang Wayne Low. You know why they can't name it? Because if you name the wrong name, it's a motherfucking. Where does the name, where was the first, they said it happened in this nail salon, which I think is bullshit because everybody know in the nail salon, Speedy, you get pedicures. Everybody know in, in, <laughs> no, in, in, the, in the nail salon, they constantly wear masks. Yeah, uh, yeah. But they don't clean them utensils like they should, but they, they should. Well, All right, we got, we got a phone call. It ain't in your feet. Call us what's your name, where you calling from, and welcome Jesus. to Roll Out Live with Speedy and Friends with Johnny Mac. I'm going to make a joke on whatever this nigga says. Who is this? Johnny Mac, I agree with you 100% on a lot of this. I believe is this Kevin Wasson? No, that's, that's Vernon. Johnny Mac, shut the hell up. I was agreeing with you now. Oh, you need to put some bass in your voice. You, Wait, got like you a, need to shut the hell up and listen. You, you go get a man throw. You got to. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I believe that they inflated these numbers. Thank you. I believe that a lot of this panic was just just caused by the media and Thank all you. these people trying to make. Can you get one on Amazon? Nigga? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you, Vern. Keep going. Fuck them. These people trying to man make throat. money when they said that everybody need to buy uh, um, house. Got to be fifty percent off. Shit was sold out for months. Yeah. No, no. Hey, Vern. Thing of Clorox wipes. Hold on, Ver- <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Are you wiping your ass with Clorox wipes? No, I'm serious. Yeah, I don't think that's where it goes. <laughs> hey, Vern. Yep. Did you get Vernon? Hundred dollars a pop. Vernon, yep. did you get the email where they're telling you the mask you're wearing ain't the right one? At the that, at the nine hundred yeah. million. So it's on another, yeah, it's another mask you're supposed to get. get the fuck out of here. And and I looking at the email, I'm like, come on, man. It's you the ain't same finna, I'm mask. not. I'm not gonna go get some shit. You say this is the because uh, it's supposed to be the official mask they're gonna want everybody to wear when you go into play. I said no, somebody trying to get paid. Yep. we not. I'm not doing that. So so why you didn't have that mask way back in March? Mm-mm. That's the thing. It was I, I agree guy. with you, Vern. Show sure did seventeen thousand dollars worth. Who? This is guy. He Some bought, cracker. He bought the. He bought like a store's worth of hand sanitizer and was online trying to sell them for seventy five dollars a pop. Yep. This didn't. Have, oh, I remember that in the and beginning. He, and he got arrested. Yeah. For was it gouging? Price gouging? Yeah, whatever it was. He, he gonna get my hot thirty days. I will tell you that. No, nah, he got more than that. <laughs> okay, he, he should get uh, every day for every bottle he bought. <laughs> <laughs> How many you got seventeen thousand dollars? Two more days for the ones you sold. <laughs> punk. And then it's these people in Chicago. I'm gonna tell you, we we hustled. It was a guy on the train selling masks, two for a dollar. Okay, ain't mad at that. I said, okay. I said we gonna find a way to get some money somewhere. I ain't mad at two for they they fired up they fired at ten dollars here. I know they they was two for a dollar on the train. But they he didn't have him in the bag though. They was just <laughs> he had him on. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. He had him on. <laughs> uh, you he see this on. one fit. I got a Laker one is in the Bulls. <laughs> 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 then now they started now they starting to sell off all the shit that they rioted and uh, and then fucked up. Now they trying to sell the shit off. Yeah, if y'all got Apple products, man, throw that shit out. Hey, yep. Why? They tracking them, dog. 
Mm-hmm. Why do you think they gave homeless people cell phones, my nigga? Get it together. Thank you. I keep Get it together, to nigga. That's not the issue. But that's not the issue. How do they charge them cell phones up? <laughs> nigga. That's, that's what we need to dig into. We got to dig nigga. into that. Johnny Mac, nigga. <laughs> I feel like going on the streets, nigga, just to go, hey, brother, let me well, go. I know there ain't no goddamn power. Well, yeah, fuck the dollar, nigga. How no did le- you get service? It ain't no electricity in that cardboard box. Now, how the fuck are you charging? Because they sit by the, they sit at the, they sit outside the 7-Eleven. All of them. Know they got the outlets right All there. Of them. Think about this, that pop. Uh, uh, Johnny. That's a great question, though. That was a great question. So are you trying to tell me the battery life on the homeless phone is better than mine? I'm just saying, Speedy. There was a situation under the, under the, uh, under the bridge. Under the bridge over here, yeah. and they have they have a couple of generators where everybody plugs their phone up, and they and they can get you know. Service. Nigga, that's called a town, nigga. When you <laughs> <laughs> Once you get a generator, nigga, that's yeah, a, that's a that's town. A, that's a town. Nigga. That's where you live, my nigga. But but I'm saying though, no. I'm just saying though, no. this is it's a conspiracy going out. I'm not. I'm, I'm I'm agreeing with you, Vern. I'm not going for all the fucking propaganda and the bullshit. You just can't I, tell me anything. It's not that you can't tell me anything. I do believe the COVID. The covert is it. Nineteen is it? It is real. It's real. But it ain't that many people. But it's enough, and you don't want to be the one to get in that line. And that's the fear. That's the fear. Here's the thing, John. If you go to the hospital, can't nobody come see you? When when, when Magic said he had HIV, how many of us stopped fucking? It was a few. Not me. Shit, I did. I fucked in the AIDS clinic. I'm like, bitch, (laughs) (laughs) bitch, you ain't. I know you ain't got this one. Come here. Let me get that for you. Test you, bitch. Let me get. What line you on, bitch? You on the green one or you on the blue one? The blue one got it. If you're on the green one, that's syphilis. We can do it. <laughs> I can deal with that. <laughs> Does anybody know if Magic Johnson got corona? Hell, like, oh. like seems like he would have had it. Just like with the coronavirus, it takes you see the pictures of his daughter? Days to, to, to find exactly. Out had it. Just like when they tested for HIV when they first started that, it took seven to 14 days. Now then, Hold on, the Vern. Line, Hold on, Vern. When they, back in the day when you got tested, after Magic came out, everybody got tested. How right. nervous were you? Because they said, we go, if, if we call you... <laughs> You got it. <laughs> they have to call you regardless. Nigga, I, sl- they I, call I, you slept you- with, I slept with the phone. Like, no, well, no, no. <laughs> John, I don't know when, when you went, nigga. And that's when they had a cord on you're it, You're supposed nigga. to call in and give your number. You gave your code number. And then they, they go, oh, you're good. No, you go in, and um, it took like, two, like he said, it took like 14 to, days. Yeah. You know, yeah, for, 14 days. And in no 14 days, if you sneeze, cough, <laughs> or didn't wake up on time, nigga, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you, I told you, Vern, what to do. Cut yourself. You don't heal up in two days, nigga. You got it. You got damn right. You don't scab. You should get a scab, nigga. Day two. <laughs> you ain't lying. A little scabby scab. If you still leaking on day two and three, you got it. Yeah, you got it. So now, so now, I real simple, nigga. It don't cost you shit to do that, nigga. But a razor blade. They're streamlining, they're streamlining the covert. They're, straight, they're streamlining this so they can let you know in a couple of hours if you have it. I'm not and Vern, shit they not sticking me with shit. Hey Vern, that. I don't believe in that. I, and I if you're gonna cut your wrist, don't go, don't go sideways, go straight down. Damn. No, no, Vern, you should cut your wrist at the throat. <laughs> 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 anyway, I'm, uh, they talking about they have a cure now. They, they been, you know what? We're not getting into this. We're not getting into this conspiracy. Yeah, we're not. not. Do don't, don't that. get into. So Vern, hey. let's throw this out right quick. Hey Vern, I'm all about conspiracy theories. Shout out. Oh, damn, I forgot who it was. Somebody just said, I think it was. One of the restaurants said they're not going to back uh, Donald Trump for the election. Well, it's so it's a whole bunch. We, Nick's going to pull up those names it was, of the different companies. It was called companies. Trump Plaza. They're not going <laughs> to buy. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of names of, of companies who are who are backing Trump and put yeah. and giving money to us. So we're going to put them on blast. We're going to take a break. Come back. It's we're going to put all them on blast. one of them. And, and, and with, no, with hands on. down, black folks. Except for the chicken places. Now, now God damn it, I draw my line. I draw the line at the chicken. At Popeye's? <laughs> what? Popeye's ain't, Popeye's, you talking about Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A is definitely on the list. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm Chick-fil-A is on the list. So, did, I tell you, I, did I tell you I had a fight at the Popeye's chicken over the chicken sandwich? Hold, hold that thought, because that's going to be a beautiful thing to hold. When we come back, Johnny Max going to get into the dude, the lady dude that beat him up <laughs> at Popeye's chicken. <laughs> Talk about you wearing my slip. I'm like, no, it ain't, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick, if you could do me a favor, man. I know it's too late, a little late. Love you.